Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just felt like being really cozy and warm and just playing with some makeup. So I'm just in my robe here. Um, and we have an exciting video, one of my favorite videos to film. We have BoxyCharm unboxing um, for the month of November. So I've got some goodies in here. We're gonna do an unboxing here. We'll see what products are in there. And we'll kind of review things, try them on, see if we like them, or if this month's a dud. <laughs> so um, this month is a BoxyCharm Stellar. So it always comes with this little card. And it talks about all the products in here. So for those of you who don't know, BoxyCharm is a $25 a month subscription. Um, you get four to five full-size makeup and skincare products. The variation that I got for this month is number six, by the way. The first product um, we're looking at is by Cypress Beauty, and it's an antioxidant dew quench and glow serum. It's really pretty, I'm not gonna lie. The bottling, the the packaging is really like it's like feels like glass and it's like a blue and there's a hair on it. Get that out of there. Um, so yeah, it's really pretty. Um, I'm going to read the description that they say for this. It says, this um, do lavishes skin with quenching encapsulated antioxidants, nurturing amino acids, and an array of soothing botanicals. Use as a lightweight hydrator or as a layering piece in your skincare wardrobe. So I think it's just supposed to hydrate your skin and just make everything look plump and healthy and luxurious. Now... The thing I can't get over is I've looked at the price for this, and this retails for $90. This is like 1.59 fluid ounces. 90 smackaroonies. I already know this is going to be my one and only <laughs> one of these because I'm not going to spend $90 on this. I'm just saying. Um, so like I said on my other videos, skincare is hard to give a review on. You kind of have to test it try it out. I will say I did try this out um, one night and then the next day I had this guy which is like what the frick is this happening on my face right now. Um, so I don't know what that's all about if that's really you know contributing to it but I what I've read online and, and see online people have seemed to really like it. So we'll see. Um, and I'll give it a give it a chance and use up the bottle. And once the bottle's done, probably not going to get another one because <laughs> ninety dollars, man, that is expensive. So the next item in here that I'm seeing is by Dominique Cosmetics, and this is their Celestial Thunder Palette. So she actually has a bigger one of these palettes. Um, so this one was actually kind of made for BoxyCharm to make a smaller one. And let me read the description for you, this one. So it says, this palette is an explosion of vivid pigments, shadows, and glittery foils with eight uniquely formulated shades for a creative, colorful eye look or a simple pop of electric color. These vibrantly made shades tell a cosmic story and bring the universe to life. And this is um, retailing for $35. So this is what it looks like. This is a, an eyeshadow palette I can get behind. Um, there's some pretty pops of color with the pink and the blue. Comes with a nice mirror. We'll get that out of here. Um, so yeah, we'll have to, to do a look with that one. Um, and try that out. I'll go ahead and I'll do some swatches here now while we have it out. So here are all the swatches of the palette. So a couple of colors that are calling my name is this teal, the pink, and this black like with some like reflective it looks like there's like reflective silver and purple in there so I think it's gonna be a good look today I'm excited it looks like a very beautiful palette so we'll try this on um, later in the video we'll do a try on portion and we'll see what kind of look we can create today the next thing I'm seeing in the box is by Lily Lashes. It's a pair of false lashes. Um, and this is also looks like a bo boxy charm exclusive. 
it looks like the specific lash um, is called CEO. So these look very fluffy and pretty. I will say I am not very good with fake lashes. So recording me putting these on is kind of terrifying. So hopefully you guys will stick around for that. I've never tried Lily lashes before. So I'm excited because they are pretty popular and well well thought of, well, well liked. That's what I'm going for. Okay. Raved about. All right. That's, that's what I'm thinking of. I don't know why my brain's not working today. Does anyone else just after work some days, they just like want to come home, take off your pants, put on a robe and just be cozy. Cause that's, that's the vibe I'm feeling today. So yeah, we'll try this on later too. So this is, um, let me see the description for this. This is a luxurious and glamorous pair of handcrafted false lashes that flawlessly blend in with your natural lashes. Blah. Flawlessly blend with your natural lashes. Instantly adding length, volume, and definition. The perfect finishing touch to any look. $25. $25 for one set of lashes. I'm cheap. I go to drugstore. I get the um, what's it called? I don't know why I can't think of what it's called. Come on, Kiss. It's called Kiss. I get the Kiss ones, or I just got Ardell brand. Five pack of these for like twelve bucks. Yes, please. So $25 for lashes when I can't really apply them very well, it's kind of risky. So I'm kind of new to the lashes. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with them. I'm trying to get better at them. So maybe having an expensive pair will make it easier. We'll see. We'll, we'll check it out. All right. The next um, thing in the box I'm seeing is a brush set. This is actually a brush set by BoxyCharm. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I have um, used these quite a few times since I've gotten them. Um, and I absolutely love them. They are so soft and they are so good for um, foundation and concealer. This one, um, in particular the big one, I have used this every day for like two days since I've gotten the box, but for two days now, and it's been incredible. Um, I use it with my powder foundation, my Max, my Max Studio Fix foundation, and it you just powder that in, and it just packs it in so nicely, and gives me a nice full coverage, and it's just, the product was on my face, and it's just nice. Um, I've also read people have been liking these for like liquid foundation too, which is, is something that I would believe because it feels nice and dense. Um, so it's something where I think it would pack in the liquid foundation nicely without having, you know, annoying brush, brush strokes. Cause that's one thing when it comes to foundation, I typically don't like putting on with a brush cause I feel like it's, it's kind of hard for me, but this would be, this would be a game changer, but I'm on my powder foundation fix right now so maybe when I go back to the liquid foundation I'll have to try this out on those so I've been using this for my powder one and I've been using this for like blush um, but I've also heard that people are using this for um, contouring so I think that would be a good this would be a good contouring brush too I absolutely love these I hope there's a way where we can buy these in the future because these are like my favorite brushes that I've I've used for like my face for foundation not on my whole face for my yeah you get you know what I mean right they are handcrafted synthetic and cruelty free and they are $35 for these so this one I guess is actually supposed to be the foundation brush because you can kind of get it in smaller areas I get ready in like 10 minutes so if I'm going to choose between one of these, I'm using this one. I'm using this sucker. Get more coverage in a less smaller amount of time because I got things to do and places to go. All right. I think we have one more product. 
let's see. So the last one in the box that I'm seeing is by Dose of Colors. I was super excited when they said that we were getting a liquid lipstick from Dose of Colors because I've heard how great they are. Um, and I was really wanted to try it out for myself and my excitement was killed because I got mine in the shade Charm, which is not my color. This says our liquid matte lipstick has a velvety high fashion matte finish, which envelopes lips in rich, long wearing color. It applies as a creamy liquid, but after a few minutes, it dries to an ultra comfortable matte finish. And this is $18. Beautiful packaging, feels very luxurious. Um, and I can tell I like the formula too just by kind of um, when I swatched it a little bit because it just glided on so easily. I just wish I got a different color. Um, and the reason why is because I'm just so pale that this one, this color is just not, I don't think it's going to look good on me. It, usually when I, I wear darker colors it just washes me out. So here, here it is swatched. So I wish I would have gotten one of the lighter new colors that I know some other people were getting. So this is, might be something um, that I pass along to like my mom. This is definitely a shade my mom would like. So. so this month, the total value of the products was $203. That's crazy. That's mainly just because of the Cypress, the Quenching Glow Serum that was $90. That racks up the price pretty high. Um, but that's, that's a pretty good deal, I'd probably say so myself. We'll kind of go through, we'll try out the products and, and see, see if we like them. I'm going to start with the Cypress Antioxidant Glow Serum, Quenching Glow. And let's smell this baby. It smells um, kind of just like acne medication, I guess. You're just supposed to rub this in. It says you can apply this morning and evening. Oh, this pimple is so sore. I'm gonna have to try it out longer to see how it works and if it actually does much and if it's worth $90, so. We'll, we'll, we'll try that out. Feels okay on the skin. Doesn't burn. So that's really the main goal, I guess, for this initial review is that it doesn't burn my skin, but it caused a pimple. So it's up for debate. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do an eye look here next. We'll dive in to the Celestial palette. So I just started with um, just putting some concealer on my eyelids. And I used the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade C2. And that just gives it a nice kind of base to apply to. So I am really drawn to the teal, pink, gray, and, and the black with the silver and purple sparkles in it. Um, you could also easily just first glance create a look with these four colors here. These are like, and like that would be an easy kind of smoky eye um, with these four shades. Those are very much in the same kind of color scheme. I want to get a little bit crazy and use a brighter colors, so um, I'm going to try something a little bit different here today. Something a little weird. And I'm going to go a little bit backwards today. I'm going to actually start on my lid first and kind of go up and I think that might make the most sense for me with this look. So I'm going to dig into Black Matter, that um, black silver shade, and I'm going to put that on my lid here and pack that on here. So if you're watching my channel and you're not one of my friends or family members, um, I would love for you to comment and like let me know because I feel like most of the people who watching are watching my videos right now are just friends and family, um, people 
clicking my link I post on Facebook or Instagram. But if you're like someone who has no idea who I am and just kind of came across my channel on YouTube, I would love to, love to know. And then I kind of want to blend that out with the zero gravity shade and we're going to put that in the crease just above that. I just decided to start doing YouTube again just because I think it's just something fun for me to do. Um, I really just like makeup. I love watching YouTube videos and just think it's kind of fun to be able to play with makeup and dig into it a little bit. Just share that with people on YouTube. I don't expect to ever get anything big out of this. I'm just digging back into black matter here, but it's just kind of like a hobby for me right now. Going to Mystic Ice here, and I'm going to put that kind of above the grayer shade, but put it only on the first half of the lid here. Give that a little spark of color. And I understand since I'm kind of doing this little backwards, I'm going to have to go in back with the gray and the black and stuff, but I just needed a little help kind of with the inspiration here. So I'm bringing that kind of a little bit further down and then we'll go back in and put get that gray shade back in. And then we'll go into Lucid Dream. I'm gonna put that in the outer. So I'm getting, you know, some fallout from the shadows on my face, which is nothing new for the life of Jenny. And I'm gonna go in with that gray shade again. We're gonna just blend that into the other ones. I just don't wanna lose that color. That helps to blend it. The gray helps to blend the, the bright colors in with the black. So I think I went a little too high. And then I'm going to go back with black matter and we're just going to build that color up again. I'm going to wipe off some of this fallout. Maybe. I want to start with the teal shade and put that right underneath the lash line. I'm making a ridiculous face right now. <laughs> Why do we make these faces? I'm like not even trying to make a funny face. And then underneath of that, I want to put in the pinky shade.
And then I want to go in with the blue again and just bring that back with just a denser brush. that out a little bit and then for the inner corner here I'm gonna put in festival light which is this really pretty golden white shade light shade and we'll just pat that in here oh that's pretty This is like even more dramatic of a look than I thought I was going to do, so I'm okay with it though. That's who I am, right? One of the th reasons why I think I like doing such a bold makeup and I also like doing YouTube is just a way to express myself. Um, and I think growing up a lot of times I was, and even now, like I'm a little quieter. I'm like not a super loud, outgoing person. But like, if you know me, like I'm very dramatic and like, I have a personality, <laughs> God forbid. Um, Cause people just tend to think that sh quiet or shy people just have no personality whatsoever, which is just annoying. Um, so I think this is just one way that I like to express myself and express that I am dramatic AF. And yeah, this is, this is me if you get to know me, I guess. So, um, I'm gonna just go off camera and do the other eye. And just, I'll throw on some mascara and some eyeliner as well, because you don't wanna see all that. Um, just so you know what I use on my eyes. Um, for my mascara, I use the Maybelline Lash Sensational, and this is their waterproof formula. I hate this mascara so much. Um, I keep trying to give it a, a chance, but it is just clump city in here. So if you have a suggestion on a good waterproof mascara, I'd love to know it. I bought the Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof mascara and it was it was really comfy too. So I don't know if just the waterproof mascara is harder to, harder to get a, a good formula. But I would love to know a good one if you guys know any. Um, and then for eyeliner, I use the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. Um, their liquid liner. Same thing. I kind of want to get a new eyeliner too because this one it's okay But it's just a cheap kind of eyeliner that I have So if you know any good ones, I'd love your suggestions. I Like how this looked turned out kind of looks like a galaxy almost on my eyes um, Which is kind of cool since it's celestial thunder and it's very interstellar um, I really think it's a unique palette I think it's a unique palette in the sense that there's you know you can go crazy like this and use colors or you can get very neutral looks with this so of course I went through for the crazy look instead of the neutral look but I, I think it's a good palette I mean this is the first thing I've used from Dominique Cosmetics and I think it was some good quality so that is a win for me BoxyCharm all right what I'm going to do next is we're going to try out the brushes, which I already told you that I absolutely love. Um, I can just already tell right now that they are going to be something that I'm going to use in my collection for a long time. So what I'm doing right now is just priming my face um, before we put a little concealer on. I am using the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. Man, they make names so long now. Um, this is just a nice kind of mattifying primer that I have. And since I've been mainly using powder foundation recently, I've mainly just kind of been using some concealer underneath of that. I haven't been super crazy with foundation right now. We need to cover that sucker glob on the concealer. <laughs> I'm gonna put there and put some on my nose. And 
and I'm using a knockoff beauty blender and I use that same concealer that I used on my eyes it's the makeup revolution concealer so get on the side of the nose you know anybody else have that problem with like so just because my nose is big like right here you see all it's like it does not like to go in there. So if you have that problem, let me know because I feel like I always have that problem. I'm gonna grab one of our brushes here and we're gonna grab my MAC Studio Fix foundation. And I'm the shade A, I really, oh shoot. I'm the shade A69. No. I'm the shade NW15. I'm just a pervert, apparently. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna use this brush. You can just see how like that coated so nicely. You just dip it in. I found that with some of my other dresses, my other brushes that aren't as dense, so much powder would like fly off when I would like dip it in, and this just like soaks everything up. It's beautiful. And then you just kind of pat that in everywhere. Especially right here. Are you my cheek? My cheek straps? <laughs> my cheek slapping there. <laughs> Can you guys believe it's already almost Thanksgiving? I cannot believe that time has flown by. We are hosting Thanksgiving. I need to go shopping. They're gonna be out of potatoes. <laughs> That's probably the one thing they won't run out of. They'll be out of turkey. <clears throat> That's a lot of powder. They're gonna be out of turkey. They're gonna be out of pumpkin. I need to get my crap together guys so that concealer didn't really cover my pimple super well so i don't think it's like a crazy amazing concealer so same thing if you guys know anything i am in the market for a new concealer so yeah i just think it just like applies everything so easily Gives me a nice good coverage. I just really love that brush. For the blush, I use the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropical Hues. Beautiful blush. This is one of my BoxyCharm favorites. This is when I got my BoxyCharm like last year when I first joined. And it is perfect. Let's put that on the cheeks. Same thing, what is this face I'm making? <laughs> and I'm feeling like really, really unbelievably lazy today. <laughs> Where I forgot to grab a highlighter and a highlighting brush. So I'm gonna just use one of my eyeshadow bl brushes and we're gonna use that Eternal Light shade, that bright one that we use in the inner corner. And I'm gonna just use that for a highlight today because Walking to the closet right now just seems like a lot to do. So I decided I needed to get my lazy butt up and get something anyway because I can't do this dramatic look and leave it with these, these eyebrows. What are these eyebrows? Um, so I'm going to go in with cake. Um, my Tarte palette that I've been using a lot since I've gotten it. I actually really end up liking it for my brows and for contouring. Alright guys, we're back. Drew in the eyebrows a little bit. And now is the part of the video that I'm least looking forward to and that is me showing you guys how I put on fake lashes. Yay! <laughs> this is gonna be very bad. Um, one thing I do know about lashes is you want to make sure they fit. 
fit your eye. This is about how good this is gonna go. Oh geez. Usually I have to cut things off. This is actually like fitting my eyes pretty good. So I think we might go with it. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not good at this. Um so I don't have a good lash adhesive too. That's something else I need to get. Um I really hate this one. This is by Kiss. This is their strip lash adhesive with aloe and it's black. Um, so I, I, I know one that I want to get, but I need to just go get it. So I, I just don't like this one very much. It's kind of hard to work with. But basically how I do it is I put a little dot. This is a little squeezy to one. And then I use kind of a smaller brush and I dip into that a little bit and I just kind of draw that along the, the edge of this. The other thing that I've seen other people do on YouTube, because one thing with lashes that's hard is like the inner part likes to come out. So I've seen people who put like a little bit on top of like their eyeliner and just to give extra hold. So I'm gonna do that too. And you just wanna let this kind of set just a little bit so it's a little bit stickier. That makes it a little easier to apply. So how I do it is I put it with my fingers and then I grab some tweezers and kind of put things together and just hope it works. So you wanna put it as close your lash, your regular lashes as possible. And try not to blink, which is so hard. All right, so I put it on kind of where it needs to go with my fingers. Oh my God. And then I grab some tweezers. I tend to poke my eye a lot doing this. I think I did it. So I can already tell these ones aren't on right. You can kind of see I put it like on my lashes instead of on my eye. So, wow, that was so easy to come off. <laughs> um, so let's, we're gonna have to do those again. I think I'm getting better at doing it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was like way easier than normal. So I don't know if I'm just kind of slowly getting better, but it wasn't too terrible that time around. Um, honestly, the lashes felt like they were a lot easier to put on than some of the drugstore ones that I've tried. So um, we have just one more product to try out and that's gonna be the Dose of Colors lipstick this is gonna be not cohesive with the eye look but we gotta try out every product so ah! <laughs> it is not coming off my teeth hold on As I always say, my lips suck. They're tiny. <sighs> That's one reason I don't know if I was meant to be a beauty guru is I don't have luscious lips and I'm never getting lip fillers, so. I don't, I just don't do it justice. But this was like, honestly, so like, creamy and like glided on so nicely and dried really quick and it's not sticky at all 
this is probably one of the best liquid lipstick formulas I've tried. And that's why I'm so mad because I wanted a color that I'll actually use. <laughs> because this is really feels really nice. But it's gonna be my mom's gonna like it, I think. I think she'll use it and really like it, so that's okay. You win some, you lose some. I feel like it's a little too much with the eyes. So I just want to grab a different lipstick to use. So I just want to go in with more of a shade like my a shade I would use. This is from ColourPop, their Midnight Snack shade. So just to kind of compare like the Dose of Colors formula. Not heavy. Not chunky. Color pop. Very chunky. What I'm gonna do is what I do when I don't know how to fix my lips and just cover it with gloss. Gloss fixes everything. And this is the iconic London lip gloss we got in last month's box. Hi Kiki. Alright, Kiki's here to finish off the video with us. She wants to say hi. Good Kiki. Alright, here we go. She's not. Do you see this? This is my life. Good job, Boxy Charm. You did a great, great job this month. I think I think all those products were pretty, pretty dang good. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I'll see you next time. Bye.